வணக்கம் நைன் டேஸ் அண்ட் நைன் ஸ்டோரிஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் இன் டே ஃபோர் டே ஃபோர் ஆஃப் நவராத்திரி வெர் மா துர்கா இஸ் செலிப்ரேட்டட் இன் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் குஷ்மாண்டா குஷ்மாண்டா மீன்ஸ் த மதர் ஹூ கிரியேட்டட் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் வித் அ ஸ்மைல் டுடே வி வில் பி லிசனிங் டு அ ஸ்டோரி நாட் ஸோ பிளசன்ட் லைக் குஷ்மாண்டா தேவி it is in continuation of the day 2 of the story the birth of mahisasura but no we are not talking about mahisasura this is yet another asura who created a havoc but for the human beings he gives us a very very strong lesson come let's listen to the story of rakta bhija Devi fought with Mahisasura but do you know that during the process she had dealt with many many other demons Madhu Khaitaba Shumbha and Shumbha there I come when she was having a fierce battle with this demon Shumbha and Shumbha where all the weapons that she she was using whether it was a trident or whether it was a sudara chakra whether it was a thunderbolt of the indra it all came out as different forms of the devi and they attacked the army of shumba and nishumba and the battle was as expected a fierce one together vanquished all the demons in the battlefield in fact many demons started running away fearing their death in this very minute there emerged another asura he was called raktabija let another asura it was very easy for ma to kill him but he was not and yet another asura he had obtained a very special boon from lord shiva and also he was the brother of mahisasura brother of mahisasura yes brother of mahisasura from the very agni from where mahisasura was born this asura also emerged he was named as rakta bhija he had acquired a very very special boon from lord shiva that in any battle in any form nobody can kill him meaning in the war there will be weapons and the weapons will cut off the bodies blood will ooze death will be inevitable but in the case of rakta bhija rakta means blood bhija means seed you got to try it so every time the blood oozes off of rakta bhija the drop of blood touching the crown from that emerges another rakta bija when shumba and shumba were killed by ma durga and other forms of durga there came rakta bija into the battlefield he was looking all the demons are fleeing away no i can never accept the defeat of the asuras and so he went to battle ma durga the battle continued as as expected as fiercely but the only difference was every time ma durga was slaying him blood oozes out touching the ground as it touched there emerged another rasura the same form of how rakta bija looked exactly the same clone uh, again she cuts again there is blood and from the blood there emerges another rakta bija likewise the entire battlefield was now filled with full of rakta bijas can you imagine can you imagine which one to say it is original because everyone were original rakta bijas there could be no end rakta bija could never be ended what to do so ma durga manifested another form of ma kali 
Ma Kali, if you know, is a very ferocious, very, very, very angry state uh, format of uh, Madurga. She has her tongue out all the time with her very, very uh, red eyes. Hair let out with full of rage, with full of anger. She looks into anybody in front. So when Rakta Bija was kind of emerging again and again and again, there came Ma Kali to rescue. She ensured the very minute Madurga was slaying, when she was cutting Rakta Bija, the blood oozing out as it dropped out and just before it touched the ground, Ma Kali would take out her tongue and she will just lick that blood. She will lick it making sure the blood doesn't, does not touch the ground. Hence, that one form of Rakta Bija is cut. Likewise, every time Madurga is cutting, cutting and there is blood coming, coming from different parts of the body of Rakta Bija, every single, single blood drop was saved by Ma Kali. She kept licking the blood the very minute it was flowing out. And hence, this pattern finally ended as there was no more blood seen on the ground. All the Rakta Bhijas, the so millions of Rakta Bhijas were in the battlefield, were all now defeated and were put to bed forever. The end of Rakta Bhija. As in the beginning of the story I told you, that there is a very, very important lesson uh, for our human beings from Rakta Bija is our desires. Correct me if I'm wrong. You have a desire and you get it. Are you satisfied with that? You multiply that desire. You are now again, you think of another desire. Another one, another. So it keeps on going another, another, another and there is no end to our desires. So there is nothing called content state of mind. Rakta Bija could be as, could signify us about the desires that we have in our, ourselves or in, about our life. So there's one stage you have to have the content state of mind to be peaceful in life. So thank you for listening to today's story. We'll come back tomorrow with yet another interesting story. So have a good time. Thank you so much.